know Your ass better call somebody We're back with some more Jim Ross career mode In the three and two Raiders go to four and two at Lambeau Everybody. beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play in the football. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and 11 now. Goff. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So line of scrimmage still a 39 on second and 10. Play action. It's gone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat. Does the oh, big yeah, boy have the juice? Up. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the. He took you to school. Let's go. Lady. Let's go, do you tighten up? Let's go, do you tighten up? Now golf on first down. He's got Burton here. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Great play. Here's golf. He's going to look deep down the field. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. There's gone. And he comes back with one complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. On first down, it's gone. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, these two franchises, very rich histories. This game, of course, part of the NFL 100 series. 
But the meeting that really sticks out from way back when is 1968 Super Bowl II, which at the time was known as the AFL-NFL World Championship game. But Bart Starr was the MVP of that game. He went against Daryl LaMonica, the Mad Bomber, the quarterback for the Raiders. Packers would get the victory, just like they did the year before in the first-ever Super Bowl over the Chiefs. And Bart Starr was also the MVP of that game as well. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply... If you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang at Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second and goal, Goff. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Yes. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Raiders have taken the lead. My God. Here we go. Wait, wait. Now you won. Goff on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30 yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. There's Goff. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. He finds his target, Fuller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. On first down, gone. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, gone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Goff throwing again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. From the red zone now, Goff. 
Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Yeah, right. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Gone toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Throwing again is gone. This will be caught at about the six. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. The second. First and ten, gone. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 25 yeah, yards hit. there on the catch and run. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And to give this time to the tailback. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Go. Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. running back and they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line that one good for 13 and a Raider first down now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles they'll run it now out of the gun and this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. The last run got six. Now second and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now... time to the tailback and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair this will be a two-yard loss on the play and it'll be second and 12. first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12. He's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Throwing on third. Gone. 
It'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. In on the tackle, Kamoko Ture. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. From the gun on third down, gone. He's got his tight end, Burton. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. And again this time to the tailback. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves on? <laughs> Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is in. Touchdown, yes. Raiders. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over? And he'll give it here to his running back. 
Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Raiders, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. Four and two. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, things are definitely going south quickly as they fall now to 1-6. and six. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as... Start your week by installing your game plan. Upgrade. Oh, jeez, they're seven or so. Hey everybody, it's the Coats. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup. First down, they'll run it on the draw play. 
Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throwing the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. <laughs> He's going to see a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Going to give this time to the tailback. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Out of the gun. Gone. And that will be incomplete. All right, come on, G. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now gone. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, We'll step aside and be right back. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a... Throwing on second and long. Goff. And his throw here is incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Goff now to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Charles Harris. From the gun, here's gone. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Golf. And John Brown's got it complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A shotgun snap for gone. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory. Down at the 31. Going to give this time to the tailback. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the 27, Goff. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Here we go. 
And you can bet they're going to lean on him quite a bit, obviously. They did last week. It was over 100 yards also. AFC Player of the Week is announced Wednesday. And until they take that away, I would continue to lean on him, try and have another award for him one in this game. But when you look back at last week, and you saw how he was able to find holes in the defense, but it's also the run after the catch. That's what made it impressive. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Yes. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. A great play there. His 11th touchdown of the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. In that offensive set. Mike, Cut. Mike 20. Thank you. Let's go, Mike. After the interception, here's Gall. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Now gone. This will be caught by Brown. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. To throw again on second down. Goff. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Second down and goal. Goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some. He's got a man complete. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. <clears throat> line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Partner, it's not often that I expect running backs to eclipse 100 yards in back-to-back -back games, but he left 100 way behind last week. I think he's going to do it again. I'm expecting 150 or more. And last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week, so if he does what you say he might, maybe he'll get another one. Yeah, hey, I think he's locked in. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way our game. Not a whole lot of ample for him. It's been that way afternoon, didn't there. Oh, third down throw. And for the fourth quarter. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, 
What have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first. My hunt. My 20. Hey, kill, kill. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Wesley Woodyard there on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now it's gone. Throwing it the traffic there. That's yes. complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to 35. 14 yards is the pick there at a Raider first. Goff now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Right to him on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. Well, no doubt you mean you can't an electrifying get a field goal that finish close. to have it down inside the 10 yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone. And that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field. Congratulations to them. Start your week by installing your game plan. Still in second.
On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Gall. This one into the hands of Burton. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Throwing on second and 14. Goff, he's got Burton here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Here's gone. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now Goff on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Goff in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And again this time to the tailback. And they will get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to run them. They try to run on first down, but this defense says no dice. They stop him a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Oh, yeah. Here's the and about the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's over the line and in for a yes. Raider touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. Now they try the right side here. In on the stop, Mason Foster, who was seventh in the NFL in tackles a year ago. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Goff now looking to throw. And able to find John Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. That last catch short the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. On first down, it's gone. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Give him 12 yards that time at an Oakland first down. First down. First down. 
Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, we need one deep and you catch him close to the spot. And it's going to be another. down as he'll get him to the ground at the Lions 25 yard line. Goff in the offense with a first and 10 and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Again, Goff. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To the air again, gone. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. Accelerating and off he goes. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Now a first down throw, gone. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From just shy of midfield, Goff will try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 26. Goff now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Goff. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 13-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Cordero pass. some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Going to give this time to the tailback. He's got a first down and more past the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. 
sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Back now in the East Bay. Go, go, go. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Oh, yes. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. To throw is gone. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The Raiders on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of 5 there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the... Turn into my teammate's ass. Oh, it's... Here we go. High 20. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. And again, this time, oh, they tailback. They're going to dump this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And he'll give it here to his running back. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe to get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just...
Start your week by installing your game plan. They tied, so oh. need to keep the pressure. Well, they got what? Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just yeah. gets. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get up field. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 45-yard line. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. From the 41, Goff. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Back to throw, gone. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got a first down and more past the 30. And he'll take this all the way up to the 38-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now a handoff here to his running back. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. I know it. You ain't ready. 80. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. On first and 10, gone. Yes. And that is incomplete. Oh. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. He finds his way into the secondary again on this drive. They might want to try getting him down a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what do they call that? Third level run, first level being the D line, and linebacker second level in the secondary, the third. When you block it up well and you make the secondary do all the tackling, that will wear on a defense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Raiders on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is, and they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Nick Bosa, he's the one to get him, and that is... Now a handoff looking right. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Now on second and 13, Goff. And oh, it's a safety. Goff got buried in the end zone, he couldn't get... We go to that, 180. On first down, gone. And he's gonna find his man out of the backfield, that's complete. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. Goff on first down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Golf. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing again is gone. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. You got tight. You got tight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll have a first down past the 40. He's at the 40. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. And they will finally drag him down to the Chargers 22. 
So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fellow to carry the football and carry it off. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. And he'll give it here to his running back. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. From the gun on third down, gone. Yes. He finds his target, Fuller. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. From the gun, here's gone. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Out of the gun. Ball completes it to the tight end, Burton. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no left. And he is in. Yes. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Clock 
continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try to run this one in. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there with his third touchdown. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now gone. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one. Check 52 to Mike. Check 52 to Mike. All day, baby. All day. Now a handoff here to his running back. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. All day, every day, any day. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The linebacker, Preston Brown, brings him down. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should yes. put a conclusion to this one. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be... Start your week by installing your game plan.
I set fourth in the AFC. That's not bad. That far behind. <laughs> Elliot's on uh, Ezekiel Elliot's on Panthers. Some fourth, but. <laughs> I'm number one <laughs> receiving. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna leave it there for today, or t <laughs> this morning. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, let me hear about it. Have a good one. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come!